Hi Lana, hello and welcome once again to Lana's Coach. So today we are going to take a look at some of the best courses that you can do, uh, especially if you didn't attain the grade to join at the university. So that means uh, if you had a C, a C minus, a D and below. So those are grades that you can always uh, use to pursue some very marketable uh, courses. So if you are there and you're wondering what is the next step, <laughs> so this is the right place to be. So we are going to, I'm going to take you through uh, the various uh, marketable and of course best courses that you can actually do with that particular uh, grade. So kindly uh, just feel free uh, to check within uh, the description. I've shared some also additional information about the best TVET uh, colleges and TVET courses that you can always uh, pursue. Right, so let's look at the first uh, courses. Actually, I've grouped them uh, into uh, different categories of co uh, courses. So to start us off is the hospitality industry or courses. So for those who are wondering, now that I have a D or a D minus for that uh, matter, what courses can I be able to pursue within the hospitality industry? We have various options. As you can see, you can even do diploma in pastry and bakery, right? You can do some housekeeping. You can also proceed into food production and sales and services. Uh, you can also do uh, both housekeeping and laundry. And of course, there is also a diploma in tourism management. Uh, there's also a certificate in food preparation and culinary arts. Of course, there's a diploma in catering and accommodation and the certificate option in catering and accommodation. So I've just uh, bulleted these particular uh, courses but yes, where we have a diploma option, there's always a certificate option. And the good thing with the hospitality course is that once you graduate, uh, you can always either start your own uh, hotel business or better still, you can get some kind of self-employment uh, from different uh, sectors. So hospitality courses uh, give you the right hands-on experience so that you can deal uh, with all these hospitality related uh, issues. So take note, I've also shared uh, the right hospitality uh, colleges or the colleges that offer these courses so that at least uh, you can always apply and join them. Most of them are the TVET, uh, course, uh, TVET uh, colleges. Uh, the other set of group of courses is business related. Now, with a D or a D plus, you can always start maybe by looking at uh, maybe certificate in business management. Now, what I like with starting from maybe the basics or certificate is that if you have the passion of doing these particular courses, you can always advance or upgrade. So let's say, for instance, you start with certificate in business management. You can proceed and advance to a diploma in business management. And of course, once you are done with the diploma, you can even advance further and pursue a degree in different uh, business-related courses, right? So you can even proceed up to the university level and so on. So these are just to mention but a few. So you can also proceed and do diploma insurance. And of course, you have the certificate in accounting known as the CPA, right? So if you want to really have some very nice hands-on experience when it comes to accounting, uh, this certificate is very, very important, right? Uh, we also have other categories. Of course, they are related to business, uh, HR, right? When you are pursuing a business course, there's always an, a HR a component that you can always uh, maybe add onto that, right? So, yes, uh, these are the various business-related courses that you can always uh, undertake when you have a grade of C and below. Now, the other category is the information technology courses. Now, this uh, particular courses or these particular courses will enable you uh, to have some kind of uh, technical uh, skills when it comes to maybe web, web development, and it comes to developing some softwares, right? Uh, it accommodates people with as low as maybe uh, form 4 uh, certificate, or even if you have uh, maybe a D, right? So you'll have 
access to these various courses from uh, different TVET institutes or even university can accommodate you. Like for example, one uh, main course here that I'll recommend is to start from the IT certification. You see, IT is about uh, getting your hands on, right? Getting to know what is being done. You will realize, uh, actually this is my field, yeah? Uh, this is my field and I'll tell you that if you start from uh, the basics, then you'll have a mastery of this particular field as you proceed with your career, even up to degree level. I will give you a scenario whereby I uh, had a chance of working on a, in a particular organization and some of us were privileged to have the degree in IT. But those who came or those people who we call them the uh, those guys, yeah, the ball boys, yeah, the people who can you send them to pick stuff, right? They had the certificates in IT, yeah, so they had the right hands on experience. So they always used to challenge us because us, we could do the theory, <laughs> we could approach things in theory aspect, but with them, they could do them uh, hands on. So that means without them, we could not really uh, pursue our objective as an organization. So ideally being uh, or having some kind of technical expertise from this particular uh, courses is an advantage. So just know that, that all is not lost with your D. You can always start by looking at the user support, for example. Uh, you can be a user support specialist. You do an A plus network support specialist. You can do CCNA, Cisco, right? And of course, you can try your hands from the very many tutorials online about software development. You can start from uh, creating some simple mobile apps, which are very free. Yeah, you have the Android web development and so on. Android uh, software development, even web development, right? These are some of the courses that will help you uh, get self-employed. In fact, majority if you may ask, uh, people who have the basics in IT and they are passionate on what they are doing, they have so far opened their own businesses. I talk about hosting of websites, uh, talking about developing apps for uh, organizations. Some have even their own established uh, cyber uh, cafes where people go to browse and so on and so forth. So yes, have a look at this and I've also shared uh, more of these particular courses within uh, my website or the Learners Coach website. I'll just share and maybe take you through uh, the various TVET courses and institutes that you can apply these courses from. Now, other courses that I'll recommend are ideally certificate in electrical engineering, right? Where we have certificate, where there's an option of a diploma, and even you can go ahead and upgrade to degree. Remember that, right? So we can also do some diploma in media techniques, psychological counseling, animal health and production, uh, leather technology, <coughs> artisan in building technology, uh, artisan in fashion design and garment uh, making. So what I'm saying is this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that we have a whole lot of courses that you can do even if you have a C grade, a D grade, a C minus, a D plus grade and so on. So let me quickly take you through uh, some of these particular uh, or some of the TVET uh, colleges and the best uh, maybe courses that you can uh, take from those particular related uh, TVET institutes. So let's just look at uh, this particular website. So, right, uh, this is a website, learnerscoach.co.ke. I've shared the link already within the description, right? So, once uh, you click on that particular link, you will maybe get access to this particular web page, yeah? So, here I've listed the most marketable TVET courses to pursue in Kenya, right? So, you can also go through the long list, right? And I've also given you some recommendation, right? So you can check on that. So this particular website is going to give you very many options. Uh, better still, you can also look at uh, this particular uh, website about the various technical courses that you can pursue 
with respect to uh, the grade that I've mentioned, right? So here, like for example, here I'm talking about, or we are talking about, like for example, food production. How is is it, for example, marketable? Uh, what are some of the things that you're going to learn there, right? And most importantly, which are the or what are the kind uh, types of Tibet institutions that offer uh, that kind of what um, course? You can even go ahead. Also, there is also as you can see here, we are talking about TV and film production. So, with a grade of C minus, right? You can always do that. So, the following institutions are actually uh, or actually provide that. We have African uh, digital a multimedia university and so on so i think uh, that is it uh, so i hope you will find this particular information useful so instead of just going uh, maybe uh, staying at home there wondering what to do or maybe waste time uh, going back to school uh, to maybe do better there's no need you can always start by looking at these particular uh, courses and then you'll improve as time goes by all right. Uh, thanks.